Welcome to Learn Medical Spanish. Today I'll go over some anatomy terms related to the abdomen and the pelvis. So this is kind of for that patient that comes into the ER with abdominal pain or pelvic pain or some other similar complaint. And even though this is kind of geared towards the emergency room, I'm, I'm sure in this case it could help with many other specialties, anybody who kind of deals with anything in the abdomen or pelvis. So this is, I have some kind of similar content or cover similar topics in my CME course. So if you want to learn more about that, there's a link in the video description or the podcast uh, show notes or episode description, depending on where you are. All right. So as always, I'm going to say it in English first, and then I'll repeat it a couple times in Spanish. And each time I say it in Spanish, I'll pause so that you can say the word out loud, because that's kind of the best way to practice is to repeat it out loud. Okay, here's the first word, and every time I say the word in Spanish, I'm also going to say the, like the abdomen, the stomach, because the first word is abdomen. So how do you say the abdomen in Spanish? El abdomen. El abdomen. So the reason I'm saying the abdomen is because, first of all, it's more common to say the in front of body parts in Spanish. And second, you want to kind of get used to whether it's masculine or feminine. So it's going to be el or la, or maybe once in a while los or las if it's something plural. All right, next word, stomach. El estómago. El estómago. Belly. La panza or la barriga. La panza or alternatively la barriga. So the word panza is a little more informal, so you wouldn't necessarily want to use that unless that's kind of your style to use kind of, you know, if you would use the word belly in English, then maybe you could use that in Spanish. So that, just to give you an idea, you wouldn't say belly to every patient, right? Okay, next word, liver. El hígado. El hígado. Gallbladder. La vesicula. La vesicula. Pancreas. El pancreas. El pancreas. So this is an example of a word that's exactly the same in English and Spanish. The spelling is exactly the same, but you just need to know how to pronounce it. And so uh, there are simple rules you can follow to figure that out, and I went over all of them a couple episodes ago in my, um, my episode about Spanish pronunciation. So if you're still kind of working on that, if you don't know how to pronounce all the vowels and the consonants, then just go back to that episode and I kind of give you all the, the key info about pronunciation. Next word, kidney. El riñón. El riñón. Bladder. La vejiga. La vejiga. Intestine. El intestino. El intestino. And of course, you might make this plural like we do in English. So you could say los intestinos. Los intestinos. All right. So how about large intestine? I'll give you a hint. It's not called the large intestine. It's called the thick intestine. El 
el intestino grueso. El intestino grueso. Next is small intestine, and this is also not called small intestine, it's called the thin intestine. El intestino delgado. El intestino delgado. Uh, rectum. El recto. El recto. If that word sounds familiar, it, it has other meanings. It can mean straight. If something is recto, it's like straight. All right, next word is anus. El ano, el ano, and this is why it's important to put that tilde on the end when you're writing the word year, which is año, because if you leave off the tilde, then it means anus, so don't want to make that mistake, right? Okay, next word, ovary. El ovario. El ovario. Uterus. El útero. El útero. Fallopian tube. La trompa de falopio. La trompa de falopio. So that, that doesn't mean tube. Trompa, I think, means like trump, trump or trumpet. So if you can imagine, of course, the fallopian tube, when it's drawn, it often looks a little bit like a trumpet shape. And so that's why I guess they use that terminology, trompa de fallopio. Next word is vagina. La vagina. La vagina. So that's a perfect example of a word that's spelled the same in English and Spanish, but then you, if you know how to pronounce the vowels and the consonants, all you got to do is look at it and you'll know how to pronounce that word. So once you learn a few rules, that'll be super obvious. So again, I have that other podcast episode that explains all of that. Next word is testicle. El testículo. El testículo. And how would you make that plural? Los testículos. Los testículos. Scrotum. El escroto. El escroto. Penis. El pene. El pene. Okay, so that was the end of the dialogue, or uh, excuse me, of the anatomy list. And I got a bunch of other related like vocab lists and dialogues and things on YouTube. I'll put a, a you know, playlist there that you can, should be able to see on the screen, as well as a video about my CME course. And if you're on the podcast, of course, the stuff I'm talking about is mostly on the podcast as well. So you can just go back to previous episodes to learn more about those topics. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time on Learn Medical Spanish.